Hi all, welcome to the session on uh, Linux administration. So here in this video, we'll go through uh, multiple commands and we'll see the top uh, more than 50 to 60 commands and see how they work and what is the use of them. So the first command uh, which we will go through is the cat command. Cat command is used to see the contents of any file. So you, if you want to open any file, you can use the cat command to um, see the contents of that file. So uh, the second command which we'll see is calculate CL will give you the calendar. And uh, you can see the calendar of uh, on your screen if you want to see the calendar for 2022 then you can do like this you will see the complete calendar for each of the month the next command is uh, bc which is uh, used for uh, which can be used for uh, calculations uh, like in uh, if you want to do some basic calculations then in that case you can do it so you will get the uh, you can do the basic calculations out here so you can you can get the outputs there and then you can use it in your application wherever you need it you can do it so the another command is df df command is used to see the uh, file systems what is the the is mount point usage so and all the all the different mount points and the usage how much is available and how much is the size available there so you can use the f kh or the command so, so another command is clear if you clear you you use this clear command the screen will be cleared for you and you will be on the first line of the putty or terminal the next command is help. If you type help on the command, it will give you all the all the commands which can be executed in this terminal. All these commands are getting in this. We can see it here. The next command is uh, pwd. That is uh, present working directory. It will show you the present working directory where your uh, where you are you where you are present ls the next command is ls ls is used to show the uh, listing of the file systems which are folder which are files and directories are present there we can see it using ls uh, next command is fact you can use this factor command to find the factor of uh, any number it will give you the factor of that uh, number another command is uname uh, uname will give you the information about the linux system information you can get uh, if you want to get the complete information you can use hyphen r or you can use hyphen a it will give you the complete information about the kernel and uh, linux operating system which it is using the next command uh, which we will be using is ping you can ping any <coughs> any of the websites and see if we if our system is able to connect to it so now if you are able to see this it is able to connect to the system we can see that uh, uh, seven packets were transmitted seven packet received if you want to do some uh, you can get the ping hyphen help if you will get the other parameters like if i want to ping any any server only for a uh, fixed number of times then i can i will add hyphen c and five times and then it will it will ping this uh, google.com only for five times and then it will exit itself so five packets will be transferred and then we will be we will come out of that another command is uh, mkdir so we can create any folder using mkdir uh, the folder will be created 
rmdir is a command to delete the folder you can delete the folder using rmdir now there are other command the other command is gzip when you want to uh, compress your file then in that case you can use uh, uh, gzip let me see there is a sample.txt file i will use gzip command to compress this file so now you can see this it has this file has been this file has been compressed and if you use gunzip this file will be again extracted so gzip to uh, compress the file and gunzip to extract the file you can uh, other command which you can know is who it will tell you the it will tell you who all have been logged in uh, on this server next command is free it will give you the memory yeah. How much RAM has been utilized? You can use hyphen G to get information in GBs or hyphen M to get the information in MBs. The next command is top command. Top command is a very much useful command. So top command will give you the time when the system was up, number of users who are logged in, load average, what is the load, how many tasks are getting executed, what is the percentage of CPU utilizations memory utilization and swap what are the process which are running here all these information will be provided by the top command so it's a very much uh, important command to remember for a administrator and it's really very much important command so for any of the troubleshooting issue we will we will be mostly using the top command the next command is echo if you want to uh, if you want to echo anything on the screen, you can use this echo command. Then the next command uh, which you can use is uh, head. Head command is used to see the last lines of the see the see the st starting lines of the file it will give you the the starting lines to the file in the same way we have tail it will give you the last last few lines of the file and we can use uh, hyphen 2f to see the two line and uh, you can use 100f2f based on our requirement and it will keep on telling the file even though the file is getting written the next command is man command you can use this uh, man command to know the information about any of the commands if you don't understand the commands you want to see which all parameters uh, which we have to pass you can use the man command you will get those information then we have uh, password command so this command is used to change the password of uh, the current user or any other user from uh, linux operating system if you want to use you can change it using this uh, password command then we have w command is used to see the uh, number of users who are logged in load average and uh, these information can be displayed other command is who am i it will give you the user who has been logged in the next command is uh, history it will give you the list of all the last commands which have been executed till now you can get the, the list uh, using the history command now now we can use the command ls cpu this will give us the cpu information uh, if you want to know uh, about the cpu architecture cpu what uh, all which cpu has been used you can get those information from this uh, ls cpu command
then the next command is ps it will give you the process id of all the processes which are running we can get the process id like uh, in case of uh, we want to we want to search something we can grip it with some other command and then we can see it and uh, there is uh, another command uh, kill which will kill the process if you want to kill it so it will kill the process if which we want to kill so uh, kill is the command now we want to get the checksum of some number like when you are transferring one file to one server to another system then this checksum is uh, utilized you can get the checksum uh, checksum number and once the system's file is transferred to the target system you can again check the checksum it they should match you can use the env command to see the all the environment variables which has been set for this uh, in next terminal you can you will get all the information here on the in the terminal itself the next command is the host name host name will give you the host name of uh, the system if you want to change the host name also that can be done So now, now the host name has been changed. So the host name is used to change this, or you just just to see it. We can check the host name using this. Then we have uh, sudo command to sudo into the root user, and we can use the sudo command. Then we have another command hardware clock so this will give us the hardware clock uh, time what is the hardware clock timing and if you want to change the hardware clock timing this can be this command can be used there is another command which will give us the more information about our hardware ls hw so it will give us the information information about our hardware on which hardware we are running all the information is being displayed and motherboard information intel core cpu information uh, a lot of information is provided which we can see using this ls hw command the next command which we will look into is if config if config is the command which will give you the network interface information what is the ip address of your system what is the uh, which uh, two ports are which interfaces are used here all those information will be provided in this if config command su the next command is su su command is used to login into the other user if you have multiple users in your uh, linux box then you can use su and uh, you can log in into that uh, particular user the next command is uh, wget wget is the command which will use to uh, we will get uh, we will be able to download any file from internet if we are using this uh, wget we can download any file using w wget so this will download the index page uh, of uh, google.com or any of the any of the files it is used to download any files from internet it will get connected and it will uh, download it you can see index.html page has been downloaded from google so there is another command uh, 
yes which you can use uh, So if you pr press this command, it will keep on running uh, till your control C is pressed. So this command will keep on displaying the message, whatever you have typed in, until and until you press control C. This is the uh, yes command. Then we have the last command. It will show you the details about the uh, last logged in user, what they are going to do when the server was rebooted, all those things. It will show us here. The next command is io io stats it will give you the information about the input output devices another uh, useful command is kmod kmod uh, this will give you the it will it helps you to manage all the Linux kernel modules and display the uh, kernel modules which are loaded into the system right now. So all these kernel modules have been loaded uh, into the system right now. So that is what we can see it. All these commands are used mostly by the Linux administrator when they are when there is any issue or when they want to configure. But yes, as an administration, we should also uh, know that. Next command is ls usb. It will give us the information about the USB buses connected to the hardware. So it will give all those uh, information. The next command is ps3. So it will give us the information about all the processes, running process in a tree format, which are the processes which are running. And uh, uh, so it will give us the all the processes in the tree format ps. The next command is uh, zip command. You can use uh, zip command to, to zip any files or uh, files. We can zip multiple files into there. Uh, so now you can see one. Folder test12.zip has been created and it will have these two files. Or if I will unzip, I can unzip also. You can use unzip to unzip those folder. So it is both two files have been uh, unzipped. So whenever you are sending a file from your servers to another, uh, from your server, one server to another server, then you can zip those files. If there are multiple files, and then you can uh, send it across to the Send it across to the other team so that they can unzip it and they can see it because uh, downloading multiple files from the server will take a lot of time. Whereas uh, if you zip all the files as one and then you download it on your local, then it will take less time. The next command is uh, shutdown. If you use this uh, command, then your uh, operating system will go shut down itself after one minute. We are not going to use it. The next command is dir. It will show the directory structure which is there. The next command is uh, reboot. So this command will uh, reboot itself and uh, it will reboot itself and come up automatically. Now the another command uh, which we'll see is diff. Diff command will show the difference between the two files. If you have to compare, if you took some uh, backup of some file and you made some small changes, then you can use this diff command. It will show the difference uh, in both the files.
so this uh, dim dim the code is used to retrieve the hardware information uh, from the operating system this is also the almost the same kind of information is uh, present here uh, what is the manufacturer and base board information all those information are present inside this uh, using this command and you have to use it as a root user or you have to use it as uh, as sudo user the next command uh, which we can use is uh, hostname ctl which will it will give you the information about the hostname what is the static hostname transient hostname and uh, the kernel version architecture operating system information all those things it will give us hostname name ctl that is the command uh, which is used and then the next command which we will look into is IP table. So IP table is the is the command. IP tables is the command which will give you uh, more information about the and the firewall uh, incoming and outgoing traffic it will give you the information about uh, incoming and outgoing traffics which are there so let's uh, do a list so you have to use it uh, using sudo or as a root command so it will give you the uh, ip table uh, which all are permitted where the, the connections can go from where to which source to which source the connection can go the next command which is uh, the useful one is let's uh, that that's that command will show you the incoming and outgoing traffic for all the network connection you can uh, use this is a very much uh, useful command Whenever uh, there is any issues on the network side, if a port is uh, uh, not able to use, if you're not able to start any servers or services, and then it will say that the port is busy or it is being uh, uh, booked by another process, then in that case you can you can do the next step command, and uh, you can see if the port is being busy by any other process. The next command is lsof. This command will help you to see the all the files which are opened by your application in the terminal window. So it will give us uh, which all files uh, in the operating system level has been opened, uh, uh, files opened by our application. So that is the use of uh, ls off command and say very useful command whenever you see uh, some files bit getting logged and uh, the next command is bzip2 so this is again a it will compress our files uh, to smaller level uh, smaller time and it will give a bzip2 format it will be in bzip2 format and if you want to extract that file then you have to use hyphen d and so we'll use bzip2 hyphen d and then the compressed file name the compressed file name is this and now the file would have been uncompressed this is again uh, just like the zip command which we can see the next command which we should remember is vmstat display the virtual memory usage on the terminal this is the virtual memory usage next command is mp stat it will display the cpu information all the cpu information 
on the table on the terminal so we can use word wc command as a word count it will it will count the words uh, line words and the characters in the file then the next command is pmap so pmap is so pmap we will we will have to use it with any of the process id and it will show us which all uh, memory map it is being using so you can see these are the memory blocks which are used by this process id you can get that uh, with pmap command the next one is ssh command you can uh, is used to connect from one server to another server then we will use ssh command the next command is telnet which is used to connect uh, check the connectivity from one server to another server on any port number so see it is connected to google.com so this is uh, the use of telnet command is the most useful when you are debugging any network issue you will uh, look into this uh, telnet output and see if it is uh, able to connect or not the next command uh, is scp scp is uh, used to secure copy command and uh, it can copy the files from uh, one server to another server the next command since is mobile data is done off, you have to connect to a wi fi network first then we have uh, then we have the command sleep command you can use uh, sleep 2 seconds so then it will the, the terminal will be slept for 2 second if you use sleep 5 second the terminal will go in a sleep for 5 seconds and then it will it will come back now if you want to know the the permissions on this file what is the permission and, uh, and then you can use stat command and you will get the complete information about this what is the file uh, permissions what is the inode number uid and when was this file access when was this file created and when was this file change the next command is ls blk it will give you the file system information and block device information which are attached to your operating system So these are few of the commands which we have looked into today. So these commands are there are many other commands also. So you if you want to see all the commands which are present inside your uh, operating system, you can go to slash bin folder. You will see a lot of commands are there. It depends upon the usage. You can uh, use them as per your usage. So let me see how many commands are there. So it's 1747 different types of uh, commands are there inside bin which can be used so these were some of the important commands uh, which we have discussed today remaining commands we will uh, see it in our coming sessions thank you